Mic check, one, two, three. Mic check, one, two, three. Get your ass down. Dude, you're gonna have to go over there and sit, bro. Get your ass out of my face. Bo, I gotta get some gas, bro. What's your name? It ain't Bo, is it? It's Griffin. Peter Griffin, look at me. Smile for the camera. People love you. You got fans, Griffin. You got fans, boy. Show them something. Show them your toots. So yeah, like I said, um, yeah, five, six more days and it's Christmas time. So that's very exciting. I, I actually like Christmas. Can't wait for it. I like to give, not receive. Okay. Going to town real quick, make some deposits, get us a biscuit, and the plan is to go back and uh, hook the boat up, and we might do some fishing. Look at Jerry Dillon's Mustang over there. I'm gonna go holla at him. I like the, uh, I like the smell of Fritos as well. Look at that right there, Daddy. Ooh, man. Son, look at me. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out how Look at them wheels, boy. I'm trying Say. to figure out how the hell do you work a whole time safety belt? How do you get out of this? Here, I got a pocket button? knife. You want me to cut it? No, but I'm going to take me a chain. Huh? Off me. <laughs> how you doing, Jane Wheeler? Good, man. Bit since I've been out on the 10 killer. Work, work, work. I'll go look for some crappy. Sock a lake. One of these little spots up here. Can't go far because I mean, Lord have mercy, it's two o'clock. It's gonna be dark in two and a half hours. I'm gonna go looking around up here up the river, see what I can find. I do have that Christmas tree after Christmas that I will be sinking up here somewhere. There's like some really good drop-offs right here at the, uh, at the ramp. Nothing on it. Let's go look for some crappy. My bass fish too, I don't know. Do what I want to. giant but I found some we'll eat him nah let's get some bigger ones what do you do shit on you my bad Where's your mama? That's what I want. Mama. Mama me. A bit better. That's eating size. Barely. Barely. Better, better, better. Here comes the boat. That's that's good eating size right there. I'm 
go past. Crappy jig. I see you down there, feller. What you gonna do with this? Hmm? All I'm doing is skipping these little jigs up underneath the dock. So you, you don't need to shoot these docks because the water's so low right now. You can just kind of skip these little 16th ounce um, crappy jigs up underneath there. And there's a brush pile that the owner of the dock has up underneath there. And it's about halfway back. When it's full pond here, it, you it's hard to get to. But probably 14 foot of water, something like that. Just ain't no big ones in there. And I'm right near the boat ramp too, so I could travel on down a little bit if I wanted to. But um, I mean, there's some fish on those docks. It looks like it's some decent ones too. Maybe, maybe the little ones are just uh, getting to it before the big ones are. Little pink eagle claw jig head you get at Walmart for, I don't know, two bucks. And I got a big old bag of stank right here at Berkeley Gulp. I've had days to where I've outfished minnows, live minnows with this Berkeley Gulp. This stuff is crazy it's stinky and it's messy and most of the time when you get hung up and that's why I buy these cheap jig heads because you get hung up so much on uh, crappy fishing is because you can straighten out the hook and get your jig back and just bend the hook back but these are actually pretty strong so that's kind of what I'm fishing with right there little jig head pink jig head I think it's a 16th it might be a 32nd and just taking that Berkeley gulp and putting it on there and if you want to get really crazy we can take some of these crappy niblets these right here Berkeley power bait crappy niblets they stink I'll go ahead and I'll take a couple and my buddy Dave Cavell told me about this and you just take these little niblets it's like trout bait just stuff it on there like that one's all you need but since i got two out I'll go ahead and stuff it in there too it's like that little hack right there boy here's another thing like if you don't have any holes that you can go to like where i'm at way up the river i just go looking i go looking on channel markers i go looking on deep brush or you know you can see like all these fallen trees down the bank on the main channel. Uh, and what I'll do is I'll just scan. I can show you what I'm talking about. So like all those, you can see like those overhangs and stuff like right in there. This is all deep water. Like I'm in, how deep am I? I'm in 23 foot. So all I'm gonna do is scan. All right, that's kind of, you know, these laydowns and, and stuff like that. You can see these crappy in, you know, on your side image. Like, you don't need live scope to, to, to catch crappy. It helps, yeah, but you don't need it. Like, right there, that might be some in that tree right there. Blow it up a little bit. Not that much right here. See that tree right there we'll check that here in a minute that looks kind of bushy anything that looks bushy all right you know what i mean when i say bushy you can see like the little the little light bulbs is what i call them that looks like it's got fish in it and you know sometimes you you get to it and it's bait it's just loaded with bait but that right there looks like a good tree and it the little like i said the little light bulbs so i can zoom in there like the little light bulbs that are showing up matter of fact I might go back to it now fall off
that's what you want right there. That's good eating size. So like I said, I was just going down the bank, scanning the banks, and then I found, looks like a lot, whether they'll bite. little <laughs> bluegill now if Toby was here he'd eat this not me That's a good one. Yeah, that's good eating size right there. Good eating size. I'm, show, I'm gonna show you this tree. Don't be telling nobody. Right here's the, that's the tree right there. Let me, so they're on there pretty good, as you can tell. That's a good mess of crappy right there, if they'll keep biting. I'm too small. Every time you go out, you don't have to catch a lemon. Because I got plenty in my freezer, but you know, I'll take some more. Eater. That's an eater. Let me show you something. That's what I'm talking about right there. So now I'm like looking sideways on the tree. And dude, it is freaking loaded. It's tons of crappy down there. Well, that's it for uh, today. Good little trip, went out. Didn't go far from the boat ramp. Just kind of, just wanted to get out. I haven't been in the 10 kilo for probably a couple weeks. Florida, all last week and so. Get to come out today, two or three hours, look around, catch some fish. Yeah, it's uh, it didn't suck. No wind, slick calm. You have no idea where to go catch crappy? Look on the main channels. These laydowns, deep banks, 20 footers, all right, 15, 20 foot. You'll find some in 10 or 12 foot as well, but deeper banks, trees, you know, could be on the bottom. Look for brush, deep docks. Just look at them, dude. You can you can put your um, side imaging on. They'll look like little light bulbs, and if you don't see the light bulbs, it'll it'll look like a tree. So just relax, all right. Just slow your roll and just idle and look. You have to look. Don't go fishing blind because you're gonna waste time. Just look. If you think there's a crappy on a channel marker and you ain't catching them, they're probably not there. Don't waste your time. Idle. Like, just find them. And like I said, you don't need a live scope or live sight or live target or panoptics or whatever. You can do it on, you know, regular side imaging, down imaging, 2D. You can see them on 2D. They look like little, little blips. Bleep, 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 bleep. The main thing that, that I use live scope for is to keep me from getting hung up. I know exactly where to drop it and where to stop my jig. All right, so I'm not dropping it all the way into like a big old tree and, and I'm hung up. I would say that's that's the best way I, I use my live scope is to keep me from getting hung up. You know, I can see the fish come up and eat it, yeah, blah, 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 but still, um, you can't make the fish bite it, but it is kind of cool to watch them. Uh, here's here's like another thing too that I that I've learned on the last two or three trips. You notice I caught like a bass. Like I always catch bass, or I have been lately, on these crappy holes. And it's funny because once you catch a bass, crappy stop biting. 
and on one earlier this hole I was on I watched some you know probably a bass or a catfish or something roll up in there and the crappie just they gone they gone so if you ever had a crappy hole and they're biting and all of a sudden they stop it's probably not because they're tired of biting it's probably because something else then moved into their home and pushed them out and most of the time you'll either catch a, a large mouth a small mouth catfish sturgeon <laughs> whatever they're called thanks for watching i really appreciate it and and i think the next the next video i do is going to be on these boots because i'm telling you and they don't even stink yet these might be the perfect fishing boots fishing boots they're not too hot and they keep your feet warm so i'm gonna do a review on them i don't care I can't. catch me on facebook instagram tiktok until next time catch you on the flip flop return it's not the way for me only a mile to go somewhere i belong i'll see Does that make you want to go pee now? <laughs>